Good morning to all of you there. And uh, we praise the Lord for His goodness to all of us. And kamusta po kayo? Naka-relax ba kayo for the past uh, few days? And um, uh, kasama ating mga pamilya sa araw na ito. And uh, the Lord is so good. Ang ating uh, uh, pag-aaral ngayong umaga ay tungkol sa um, humility and humble love. <laughs> okay. So, uh, salamat sa mga kaibigan natin. Nandito na. We praise the Lord for you. And uh, um, kayo po ay talagang... Uh, gustong uh, sumama sa araw-araw natin na na paglalakbay. <laughs> okay? And uh, nandiyan na rin po si uh, Mon. Una-una si Mon. <laughs> si Joanna, parang second palagi. <laughs> okay, and then nandiyan din si er- Errol. Nandiyan si Jenny. Uh, nandiyan si uh, Lady. And si Jen. Uh, thank you na nandyan na po kayo and uh, we praise the Lord for uh, giving us the opportunity this morning to come together and um, to give Him the first place dito po sa ating uh, umaga and I don't know kung nagtatrabaho na kayo lahat and um, uh, ang iba siguro na sa bahay lang but uh, We praise the Lord na nandyan po kayo at uh, nakikinig sa programa. We praise the Lord for your um, presence every day. And uh, we, in- we we are encouraged that the Lord is doing a lot of things uh, for all of us. And uh, we would like to give Him uh, all the honor and the glory for what He is doing in our lives. Okay, so uh, let's pray first. Father, we thank you for this morning that you have given us. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of life, the gift of uh, wisdom that you have given to us every day. And thank you, Lord, for the strength that you have given also for the past uh, days in our work and in our travel, in our relationship with other uh, people, our friends, our clients. And uh, those who are in need also, maybe we have, we have experienced those people that they are in need and uh, we have helped them. And thank you, Lord, because you are using us every day. We continue to pray for Captain Jiang right now. Continue, Lord, to help him in his condition and also bless um, uh, his family. Thank you again for this morning and we want to uh, give you all the honor and the glory because of what you have done in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, so um, uh, we thank the Lord for giving us another opportunity to uh, come together and uh, do His work. Our, our passage this morning is found in... Philippians chapter 2, and if you have your uh, Bibles there with you, you can open it and uh, join me in reading these uh, uh, verses. Okay, um, Philippians chapter 2, if, any, if you have any encouragement from being united with Christ, if any comfort from His love, if any fellowship with the Spirit, If any tenderness and compassion, then make my joy complete by being like-minded, having the same love, being one in spirit and purpose. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit, but in humility consider others better than yourselves. It's of you should look not only to your own interest, but also to the interest of others. Your attitude should be the same as that of Christ Jesus, who... Being in the very nature of God, did not consider equality with God something to be grasped, but made himself nothing, taking the very nature of a servant, 
being made in human likeness and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to death, even death on the cross. Therefore, God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name and that the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. And that is our passage this morning. And um, regards then, and then si Net, uh, thank you for uh, joining us today. And Sir Roland, kamusta po? And uh, also, uh, nandyan po si Rosdan. And God bless you all. And um, may the Lord bless you as you listen to the Word of God this morning. And um, the, our passage today is a little bit hard. <laughs> a little bit controversial. controversial. But uh, this is what the Bible is uh, is um, giving us. And we would like to follow the instructions of the Lord even in our daily lives. Because the Bible is our uh, textbook. And this is the uh, manual of uh, our life, not not the physics book, <laughs> not the uh, how-to books, not the other books. But this is the manual for our lives. When you when you get a new, um, for example, a washing machine or uh, a new um, laptop or. A gadget there is always a manual together with it and how to operate that um, um, washing machine or uh, whatever things that you uh, get uh, especially if it is new to you then you have to have a manual and we know that um, our manual is the Bible okay In the chapter that uh, we have read today, the background of this is Paul is our speaker here. And uh, he is writing from inside the prison cell. Okay, so this is very different. He was writing inside the prison cell to the people there in the church in Philippi. And uh, he is talking about humility here, okay? Humility. And he said in verse um, 3, uh, Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit, but in humility, consider others better than yourselves. Each of you should look not only for your own interest, but also to the interest of others. So, um Paul is already defining what is humility here, okay? So, um, it is an attitude, okay? Uh, doing nothing out of selfish ambition. So, uh, we also see that there is already the manifestation of humility. The manifestation of humility is do nothing out of selfish, selfish ambition, or vain um, conceit, but in humility consider others better than yourselves. It's of you should look not only to your own interest, okay, so that is the manifestation of humility, but also to the interest of others. We are not only looking to, the, to our own, in, own interest, but also to the interest of others. And he has given us example. And the best example that he could give to us is the example of the Lord Jesus Christ. Verse 5, your attitude should be the same as that of Jesus Christ. So, uh, if you see that uh, Jesus Christ was humble and how to do it, then Paul is saying to us, follow what is the, the work of the Lord Jesus Christ. Follow what he is doing. Okay? And he goes on to say here in verse um, 
in verse 6 uh, until in verse 11 the manifestation of the of the humility of the Lord Jesus Christ and I would like to run down those things um, in a very simple way okay Jesus he said in verse 6 who that is Jesus being in the very nature of God he was God Jesus Christ was God he was in the very nature of God. He said he did not consider equality with God something to be grasped. Now Jesus was God but he restricted his own power like the power of God. He bent backwards instead of using it to abolish his enemies. Uh, we have a word in Tagalog, nagparaya. Okay? He let it go. Instead, he made himself nothing in verse uh, 7. He made himself nothing. Taking the very nature of a servant, he became a servant. And he took for himself a form of human likeness. He became man. He was imprisoned in the limited body of a man. Jesus Christ was all-powerful. He was God. He was omnipresent. He, the, the, the attributes were still there. The power of God is still there. But he restricted himself by taking a form of a man. Okay? He, he took a form of a man. And then, when he was inside the body of a man, then his power is restricted. Okay? Uh, he was imprisoned in the body of a man. Although he was God, but if you are imprisoned in, in um, the body of a man, then your power is restricted. No? This body cannot be uh, everywhere, at the same time, in the same place. This human body. And so Jesus Christ was that, although he can, he can do that, but he bent backward and he did not um, um, uh, practice the power that was already in him. So instead, he himself, he made himself nothing. He became a servant. He took for himself a form of a man. He was imprisoned himself in a form of a man. He appeared to be a man, and he humbled himself, okay? In verse, um, in verse 8, And being found in appearance of, as a man, he humbled himself. What else? He became obedient to death, even death on the cross. So this, man, this body, the human body, can be crucified. So he became obedient. Not only he was he was a servant, of course, a servant is to be obedient. He he became a servant. He took himself a form of a man, and in appearance of a man, he was imprisoned in in the body of a man, and he humbled himself. What did he do? He suffered. He became obedient unto death, even the shameful death on the cross. Okay, the, the cross during the time, a form of capital punishment to them. And it was very shameful. Okay, it was very shameful. And he became man. He became obedient unto death. He suffered. He died. But he died for you and for me. But you know what, what, what happened after that? Because Jesus Christ was so confident and being humbled, he... Therefore, God exalted him to the highest place. Oh, this is the result of being humble. You will be exalted to the highest place. And God gave him the name that is above every name. What is that name? That the name of Jesus. Every knee should bow. Now, people today are not bowing to the Lord Jesus Christ. And some of them are... They are not exalting the Lord Jesus Christ. They exalt themselves. Okay? But the Lord Jesus Christ, after he was obedient until death, 
God gave him, exalted him to the highest place and gave him a name that is above every name. And this is, listen to this, and that every name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven, on earth, and under the earth. So um, this is also a lesson that the earth is three-tiered. Heaven, earth, under the earth. Okay, so, wala nang iba. When, when, when you say up, it's really up. And when you say down, it's really down. Okay? So, God exalted the Lord Jesus Christ and gave him a, a name above every name that every knee should bow in heaven, on earth, and under the earth. And Jesus was so confident who he was. Uh, that is also one of the manifestations of being humble. Okay? So, um, at the remaining time this morning, I'd like to give you some of the manifestation of a humble person. Okay? So, um, Jesus Christ said also in John chapter 5, verse 30, He said, I can do nothing on my own. As I hear, I judge. And my judgments are just. Because I seek not my own will, but the will of him that sent me. Oh, Jesus Christ has his own will. Okay? And God has his own will. Jesus being a man, he has his own will. And he can do anything. But God's will is different. Okay? My will is different from God's. From God's. So, what I will do is to conform my will to the will of God. I can do something that is not in the will of God. So I have my own will. And God has his own will. And Jesus Christ in the model prayer, he said, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. The will of the Lord God is being done in heaven. And he also wanted that his will will be done here on earth. Because not all of us are doing the will of God. We are doing our own will. No, okay? We are not robots. <laughs> we have our own will. Jesus Christ has his own will. Thy will be done, not my will. Okay? Um, in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 6, Peter is also saying here, Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that, at the proper time, he may exalt you. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that at the proper time, he may exalt you. Okay, Peter, you know Peter, okay? He was, he was not humbled. He was not humbled before that, okay? He was not humble. And when Jesus Christ say, oh, I will die, uh, people will will get me and kill me. And Peter said, no, Lord, no. <laughs> Over my dead body. Okay. He was so, he was so um, uh, proud uh, that he could, that he could uh, uh, secure the Lord Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ said, Peter, before the cock crow, you will deny me thrice. And in another verse, it said, before the cock crow twice, you will deny me thrice. So, of course, we know that Peter denied the Lord Jesus Christ, but he was not humble. And that's why the Lord put him down. But if you're humble, then the Lord will put you up. Okay? So, humility is good. Okay? Uh, humility is good. When you meet someone who radiates humility, you will have a relaxed so, uh, shoulders. Okay? Nare-relax ka if you see a person who is humble. You are relaxed. Your heart beats a little more quietly when you see a person who is humble. Why? You know that you are fully seen. You are fully heard. You are accepted for who you are. It allows you to your protective walls to come down. Okay? It allows your protective walls to come down if you see 
a humble person. Nare-relax ka. You are you feel relaxed, okay? And then humble people are able to offer this kind of gift to us because they see and accept their own strength and limitations without defenses or judgment. Okay? So humble person are able to offer this kind of gift to us by being relaxed, our shoulders are are down, okay? Or relax, our hearts are beating quietly. It's because you know that they see you that they accept that they accept also their own strength and limitations without defenses or judgment. So um, the overall meaning of humility is it is an accurate view of yourself. It is an accurate view of your gifts and your talents and your abilities. So when when you see who you are, your abilities, your limitations, your gifts, it is accurate. You you are only a person that knows who you are. Okay? So if you see yourself accurate, the accurate view of yourself, then that is humility. Okay. I will just uh, give some of the enumeration, some manifestation of a humble person. Okay? Listen to this. A humble person, his manifestations are accepting that you have, what you have is from God's grace and goodness. What you have is from God's grace and goodness. Nothing more, nothing else. It's not from you. Even your strength is from God. Even your wisdom is from God. Get out God over, uh, out of your life, then you have nothing. Thankful and grateful. You are thankful and grateful. If you are a humble person, then you are thankful. You are grateful. Okay? Not because you are entitled to some things. Okay? You have to give me that because I am, in, I am entitled to that. <laughs> okay? And then, manifestation of a, gent of a humble person, they are gentle and patient. They are not aggressive. Okay? So they are gentle and patient. Now, humility is not weakness. Okay? Meekness is not weakness. Humility is not weakness. They thought that humility is a weakness. Now, it is a virtue. It is the father of our virtues. Okay? So, another one is if you are, if you see a humble person, he is a good listener. He listens to you, okay? He listens to what you are, you are saying. Then, another one, manifestation is talking about others only, if it is good. You are talking about others only if it is good, and for their good, because you want to build them. So, a humble person, manifestation is, you are talking about others only if it is good. You are not talking about them um, at their back. <laughs> you are only talking about the goodness, about their, them being good. And yeah, you are building them up. Another manifestation is um, humility submits to authority. Okay, they know how to submit to authority. Another one, preferring others over oneself. You prefer them to go first. Uh, after you, <laughs> something like that. No? Um, you prefer others above yourself. Next, thankful for criticism and reproof. If you are a humble person, you are thankful for the criticism that is given to you. Because you know yourself, okay? And reproof. You are thankful. Next, you have a teachable spirit if you are humble. If you are, you have a teachable spirit. And then, genuinely glad uh, for others. 
if your office mate is um, being raised to another position, then you are glad for that person. Okay? Mahirap, no? Diba? Mahirap. But you are gladly and genuinely gladly for others. And the last, you are being honest and open about who they are and the areas in which they need growth. Say so you are honest and open about who you are and the and areas in which they need growth. You are honest that you need growth. You need room for improvement. And you are honest and open about who you are. So those are only some of the manifestations of, of a humble person. Okay? So the Lord Jesus Christ is also that kind of person. We should emulate and we should follow the Lord Jesus Christ because that is a humble person. And I pray, uh, although this is a, a very hard um, thing to do, but this is what we are going to do because we are following the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, if we are not following the Lord Jesus Christ, then it is easy not to do this. And we will not go to the scriptures. It's because this scripture is not for us. None. That is a, a person who is not humble in the sight of the Lord. So, I pray that we have uh, taken a lesson, uh, these lessons today. And uh, we pray that the Lord will be magnified and glorified as we continue to um, serve Him in whatever capacity that we have. So, uh, let us pray in closing. Father God, we thank you for the blessing of this character of being a humble person. And this is an accurate view of ourselves. And we pray, Father, that uh, we should be like the Lord Jesus Christ, who being God, He did not get equality together with God. He even restricted himself and he took a form of a man, a form of, a form of a servant, being obedient unto death, even the death on the cross. And the result of this, he was exalted. Lord, this is also a lesson to us. When we humble ourselves, then there will be a time that you will raise us up. You will exalt us. Thank you, Lord, because we are confident of what you are doing in our lives. We are also confident what who we are. That's why we have our life, our attitude, and everything in your hand. Bless us today, Lord, as we rest and others are still working. Keep them safe. Help them to be protected. And thank you, Lord, for giving us this opportunity again. We continue to pray for Captain Jiang. Help him and his family also. Bless Uniship and other companies that we have. Uh, keep them safe. In Jesus' name, we pray all these things. Amen. Thank you, and good morning. See you again.